All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about force and flow and how one can help the other. And, and this is definitely for my over 50 crowd like myself. So we can uh, do some things to add to our training when, we come, when it comes to boxing, all right? So you got your good stance and you're on the bag. Most people, not all, even kids, two adults, have force, okay? So throwing a shot. But what I typically notice is that they stay flat-footed. And you notice my feet are flat. And they punch, and pretty much it's all upper body and arm, arm punching, okay? So what you want to practice and work on is your flow. Hands up looking good. And my back foot, I'm usually utilizing my toes more, my toes more. And even with my jab, I got my distance, my jab hand. This is gonna be my first motion. Push forward, push uh -huh. on my jab. See that? Can't do without it. I'm gonna flow into it and then add my force. Flow into the punch, see that? And then I drop my right hand, there's a transfer, and then my feet turn, okay? So I hey, pop right there, see that? Flow with it, pop, pop, good. And the flow comes in here. See that? You engage your core, work in your abdominal region, and your, uh, and your upper torso turns into the shot. Okay? Let's look at it again. So I'm here with the one. Okay? And you turn on the two. Hop, hop. Right there. See that? Hop, hop. Force and flow. That's some good practice. The better your flow, the stronger your force, because your flow will help your force practice.